Hi and welcome to the Book Lab, I'm Björn and this is the place where we bring you the best book recommendations when it comes to philosophy, psychology, human nature and human potential. And today we're going to talk about Never Finished, David Goggins' follow-up book to his hit book, Can't Hurt Me. This guy is traumatized for sure. That was one of the first thoughts that I had when I started to read Never Finished. And if you read Can't Hurt Me, then you know about David Goggins' background. He came from an abusive home. He was abused mentally and physically by his father. He also grew up in a society uh, of racism and he was a victim to that too. But he found a way to channel his demons. By deciding to become the toughest guy who has ever walked the earth, David Goggins has actively seeked out the most demanding challenges that he could possibly find. What he shares in this book is the best life lessons that he has picked up by pushing himself to the limit, often beyond it, whether it's through his Navy SEAL training, his medical career, or as an endurance athlete. What David Goggins does in this book is that he provides us with the blueprint, with the principles that he has developed throughout the years. So that we can apply them to our own life, so we can push ourselves harder, embrace the suck and achieve our potential. I live with a day one, week one mentality. This mentality is rooted in self-discipline, personal accountability and humility. While most people stop when they're tired, I stop when I'm done. In a world where mediocrity is often the standard, my life mission is to become uncommon amongst the uncommon. The Foxhole, quote, Who you hang around and speak to on the daily matters. David Goggins refers to his closest inner circle as the Foxhole. And when you evolve, your inner circle must evolve with you. Otherwise, you might subconsciously halt your own growth in order to not outpace or lose connection with the people that mean a lot to you, but might not be able to hang with the new updated version of you. That's why people who try to quit an addiction uh, seldom succeed if they continue to hang out with the people they used to party with before if they want to get sober. When there is no one around that believes in your mission or understands you, then, quote, you must turn your foxhole into a one-man fighting position. And it's okay. It's better to fight alone until you can find the right people who support you and can fight the good fight with you. The people in your foxhole needs to allow you to be you. Self-leadership and discipline, the great equalizers. Nothing is stopping you. Everything is available for the one who wants to prepare. And it's more true now than ever. If you want to do something, if you want to become something new, no matter how far you are from your goal, you can start preparing today. Quote, you can prepare as if you were already there. So that when the time comes and you do land that opportunity, you're ready to smash it. That's what a self-leader does, no matter how busy their lives are. End quote. A personal example of this was a bunch of years ago, I realized that uh, my fear of public speaking was actually uh, uh, an obstacle for achieving my goals. So I sought up this public speaking club called Toastmasters. I went there, you can uh, do speeches in front of an audience and uh, we all do it and we give each other feedback. So it's a great way to develop your public speaking skills. And the training paid off. When I started to get requests at work for doing presentations, I was ready. I was not exceptional, but my fear was muted and I had at least some experience. And I think that's a pretty good example of what David Goggins is talking about here. Prepare as if you were already there. Which brings us to the topic of discipline. discipline. Quote, if you are behind the eight ball for whatever reason, discipline is the great equalizer. It erases all disadvantages. Nowadays, it doesn't matter where you're from or who you are. If you are disciplined, there will be no stopping you. Record your inner dialogue, externalize your inner bitch. David Goggins takes journaling to the next level in this book. In Psychology of Intelligence Analysis, which I reviewed last week, I talked about the power of speaking your thoughts out loud when it comes to formulating and generating new creative ideas and get rid of creative blockages. David Goggins uses externalization of thoughts in a different way. He does this to journaling. Instead of writing down his darkest moments, he speaks them out loud during training. He records his own complaints and listens to them over and over again. Audio has a more profound effect on the mind, he argues. Listening to yourself complain about your trauma, about how tired you are, how badly you want to quit. It's not easy to do that over and over again, but it forces you to face your weakness. Is this person I hear in my headphones really me? 
Speaking the unfiltered truth uh, through a microphone, it's therapeutic in a way. The story you tell yourself about your victimhood becomes just that, just a story, and you realize that you can reshape the narrative. I'm already finding some results uh, doing the record and then listen approach. I have some struggles myself that I'm dealing with and when I feel like my mind is full of complaints I spit it out into the microphone and then when I feel better sometimes I listen to it and it's uh, it's a really interesting concept that I recommend people to try out. Never Finished started off as more of the same and I was afraid I was gonna get disappointed but it quickly picked up steam and in, at the end it was a captivating and interesting book and it's lunacy in a way. I mean David Goggins is almost masochistic but I find it very inspiring to see people push themselves to the absolute limit because it forces us to ask ourselves what could I do? if I pushed myself to the limit? What could I do if I gave it my all? And that's a good question to uh, ask to yourself. I mean, if only half of the stories in this book are true, I would still consider David Goggins to be one of the baddest <laughs> around. And there's always so much we can learn from people who really live at the extremes. If you decide to get this book, I will say you have to get the audiobook because in between the chapters there is a podcast episode talking about what you just read and I think some of the podcast content is actually the best content in the book. I Especially one part there is an interview with David Goggins mom where he actually interview her about how it is to live with an abusive husband uh, and that actually almost brought me to tears. And another reason for getting the audiobook uh, I got this one uh, on Audible, is that uh, this is a perfect book to uh, listen to when you're at the gym, right? Because if you have Goggins in your ear, you will push yourself a little bit more. If you liked Can't Hurt Me, you should actually pick this one up. It's a little bit more of the same, but it also has a bunch of new ideas and I found it worth your time. If you haven't read Can't Hurt Me already, read that one first. And if you feel like you need more Goggins in your life, then pick this one up as well. Stay strong and subscribe for more book reviews and check out my Can't Hurt Me review if you haven't already. Happy reading, Bjorn out.